Hi, I'm uh, Shri Paravamba. I'm uh, Chair of Marketing for SID. I'm very pleased to uh, introduce you uh, uh, Professor Frank, <laughs> um, who has uh, uh, sort of uh, been the instrumental person uh, to lead SID's activities in uh, China. Frank, it's a pleasure uh, it's to have... It's a pleasure to see you again, yeah. Thank you. Um, so, uh, I want to ask you about a few different things. One is, um, what did you think of Display Week uh, 2017? Um, it's, it's fantastic. I think it's, you know, I've been in the Display Week for last almost uh, 20 years. And every year, I mean, we, we see the up and the down, but this definitely in the last few years, we see the uptrend, which is uh, very important, actually. I think it's most of the trend, uptrend is contributed from the uh, uh, Beijing chapter. We have a lot of activity, especially display activities in China. We're building more fabs, and the most uh, uh, recent investment in the display industry came from China. Absolutely. So that, yeah, so that's why I bring a lot of folks to here. And we see the continuous uh, trend of the uh, Chinese members uh, join the SIDs, and I think recently we we reached the, our peak is around 900 uh, members from Beijing chapters, and attendance for the SID is also increased annually. I think at least like 10 or 15 percent. Yes. Yeah, and uh, also the the contribution for the papers, exhibitors, and also booming. And I think it's a very good trend. And I remember the for 2017 SID Display Week, uh, submitted papers like. Uh, 180 papers closed, which is uh, twice we had a uh, 2016, which is really good uh, trend. And uh, although I mean the final stage of the paper is probably around uh, 130, uh, including those uh, you know rejection rate, but we have we can work hard to get in more more qualified, qualified people. Getting, people. Paper well, getting. the beauty of it is we had 15% increase in papers. Vast majority of it, as you mm -hmm. rightly pointed out, came from China, and. Uh, uh, Dr. Yan's work uh, is very instrumental, not in just in encouraging uh, uh, different uh, researchers from mm -hmm. submitting papers, but what he has also done is created a display uh, school in China, which can be a model for the rest of the world in how this is done. Mm -hmm. Please tell us a little bit about the school that you started. Yeah, uh, the display training school we started because China has tremendous demand for the <coughs> engineers and because of building a lot of apps, and uh, so we we sort of see the opportunities, and we set up our training school uh, with the coders in China, and uh, which helped the company to recruiting the engineers, and also actually, once they have the engineers, they needed those uh, trainings. We provided, you know, really they needed those uh, particular uh, process technologies, and uh, the training went very well. And, uh, also, you know, talking about a lot of attendance uh, and a uh, lot yeah. of interest, which um, generates a lot of membership. Also, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, you know, for uh, for the first time in the history of SID, SID has been uh, around for 55 years. With uh, Frank's help, uh, the the society was able to realize the largest growth in membership in the history of SID, uh, and okay. uh, uh, they were the large chapter. And I represent the Bay Area chapter, and we compete with them on the number yeah. of membership, we're which is wonderful. All, all yes. Time, all yes. Time. Who's the best? Who's yes. the number one? Yes, who's the number one? And yeah. we go back and forth. Yeah. And, and this is great for the society, it's great for the membership, mm -hmm. and all of the different things that we do. And also, uh, Frank, some of your work has been um, amazing in terms mm -hmm. of uh, the uh, uh, the types of companies that you brought in, mm -hmm. right? Uh, behind us, there is a, a set of logos of some of the companies who are SID's corporate members, the gold members, mm -hmm. and behind us, there are logos of many of these companies that, uh, that you can also see. And many of them are there because of the activity that you created at SID. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what uh, uh, what is the value that we are providing as a society to some of these members? Yeah, let me, let me tell a little bit, you know, the, <clears throat> the story behind that. Actually, uh, we set up the, the actually, we, we, we created the SID branded international conference we call the ICDT in China, which is one of the, the largest international display uh, symposium or the, whatever the technical conference in China in the history. And we had uh, almost about 1,000 people attend there. And uh, during the conference, we actually have uh, four members. They sign up uh, for the corporate members. And that's a great venue to attracting the corporate uh, 
joined the SIDs as well as those uh, general members. And also that was the reason we got a huge uh, increase in membership. And that's a, that's a good uh, conference we're going to continue to do you know, next year and the year after next year. And you can see that actually the BOE is, uh, and uh, you know, Tema and uh, Vizinox and uh, China Star, that's the, the big place in, in China. And we have very good contact with those leaders. And uh, also the BOE was sponsoring this uh, uh, social event of SIDs. You know, we just this make a pretty few, tremendous. Yeah, we, we just really make the phone calls that. and they, they, they really very supportive for SID activities. Frank, uh, as a, uh, a you know member of the university, mm -hmm. and you have students, and you influence a number of young people, mm -hmm. um, I think your message will resonate worldwide. Whether there's a student uh, right here in the LA area, mm -hmm. or a student in China, or somewhere else, um, why should a student participate at SID, and what's the value that they will get for being uh, part of uh, uh, SID's uh, efforts? I think it's very important, no matter which corner of the, in the world they involve in the SID activity as students, or especially college students. But I think it's particularly important for those uh, students in China. Actually, we have uh, one or two, I think we have one already, uh, student chapters in China. We actually already in the process to having two more uh, student chapters. And, and uh, corporate also realize they are, they are lacking of the qualified employees. Yeah. You're grooming them. Yeah, we're grooming them. So, so we are finding that's a good match, uh, you know, so for the for student chapters, which helped them to, you know, get in, know the display industries and encourage them to, to submit the papers, attend in the, you know, display week. And I think they, I mean, I saw several students already and actually tonight we're going to have a, you know, uh, sort of a gathering uh, dinners, and uh, students will come over with the with the professors, with the industrial professionals. So that's a great platform for them to interaction and to know much Absolutely. better about the display industries. Yeah. Excellent, Frank. The contribution you make, not just in China but mm -hmm. worldwide, with mm -hmm. all the work that you do mm -hmm. as a volunteer for SID yeah. and all of the achievements that you had. Uh, it's pretty tremendous, and uh, so it's been my pleasure to interview Dr. Uh, Frank Yan. He is just pretty tremendous, and thank you so much for everything that you do <laughs> for you, this sir. industry. Yeah.